Hello, everyone, and good morning. Welcome to another week. Praise God. Hope everyone had a great weekend, great Sunday yesterday. I know we had a great time at church and certainly enjoyed bringing forth the word, of course. And so just praise God for that. And now we're excited to bring forth the word again this week. And what I want to do this week, I know last week we talked about the Word of God itself, of course, and different things the Bible says about itself, how important it is, as we know, how we need to be reading it and cherishing it and clinging to it, of course. And prior to that, we talked about the last week of Christ's life, and, and prior to that, we spent a week on Psalm 23. So we're trying to have a theme for each of these weeks. And this week, our theme will be the book of Proverbs and the wisdom from that book. And many of you know how much I love the book of Proverbs, and uh, just it's a tremendous book. And I've always said that even an unbeliever who read Proverbs and applied Proverbs would find great success in this life. And don't get me wrong, much of what this book says is, is spiritual in nature and talks about God and our walk with him and his wisdom and everything and sin and all sorts of stuff. But there's a lot in this book that's just very practical as well. And, and certainly all of it, if anyone were to apply the things Proverbs says to their lives, they'd be better off. And we'd all be better off to do that more, of course. And so for this week, I want us to look at some different wonderful little passages in the book of Proverbs. And so for today, we're going to look at Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs 3, verses 13 through 18, which is all about wisdom. All about wisdom. And, and, and this passage really sets forth wisdom as that which we should seek after, as that which we most need and should most desire, and when we find it, are most blessed because of it. And so we thank God for His wisdom, which is found in His Word. Much of it is found in the book of Proverbs. And so may this be an encouragement to all of us today, the days to come to grow in God's wisdom. Praise God. So let's see what we have to say here now. So this is Proverbs chapter 3, again beginning in verse 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. We first read, who doesn't want to be happy? Everybody wants to be happy. In this world, there's a lot of unhappiness a lot of times. And so, Happy is the man that finds wisdom. If we want to be happy, we find wisdom. Wisdom will make us happy. And the man that getteth understanding. And so true happiness comes from God's wisdom, the understanding that God alone can give. We all want that. We all want happiness. Look at verse 14. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. We talked about this, I think, last week or the week before at some point, about how everybody wants money in this life, but God's word is greater than money. That's what, the, that's what we saw last week. Well, here we're, we see really the same thing. Wisdom, the wisdom of God's word is greater than money. It's greater than anything. And so if we want to be happy, we seek wisdom. If we want to be blessed, we seek wisdom because the merchandise of wisdom is better than the merchandise of silver and gold, Proverbs tells us. It's better than gaining that which all men are after. Wisdom is so much better. It's worth so much more. Verse 15 says this, She is more precious than rubies. So again, wisdom, it's greater than silver, greater than gold, more precious than rubies. Truly, wisdom is above all. Wisdom is what we should be after. Wisdom is more valuable than anything else that we can spend our time seeking in this life. And, verse 15 says, all the things thou can desire are not to be compared unto her. All the things thou can desire are not to be compared unto her. And so, wisdom, more valuable than gold, more precious than silver, more valuable than rubies, greater than these earthly things that men seek after. Not just that, though. All things that thou can desire are not to be compared unto her. And we understand that 
We all have different desires. Men, women, children, we all desire things. Some of those desires are good and some are bad, of course. There's sinful desires as well. But just talking about that which is good. There's a lot of good things we can desire in this life. And there are things that we all do desire in this life. Well, the Bible says that the greatest thing we can desire is wisdom. So imagine that for a second. Think about whatever it is you desire, even today, even right now. Maybe it's just wanting to go and go to a mall or something, right? Or watch a sporting event on TV the way things are going these days. So it might be something like that. It might be something like money. It might be something like fame or, or honor or, or friendship. Who knows what it is that you're desiring today? But the Bible says the greatest desire you could have is wisdom. And so those things that you desire that you think will make you happy, and they may make you happy in some way, but wisdom will make you even happier. Wisdom is an even greater desire. Nothing, all things that thou can desire are not to be compared unto her. So whatever we could desire, none of it is as great as wisdom. None of it is as great as wisdom. And why? Well, look at verse 16 through 18. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. There in verses 16 through 18, we're told what the results of wisdom are, what the byproduct of wisdom is. What happens to the man, to the woman, to the child who seeks God's wisdom? Length of days, riches, honor, pleasantness, life, happiness. Pretty much everything we could want or desire in this life, in this temporal life, is found in verses 16 through 18. Anything we want it can fall into one of those categories because it will give us peace, because it will make us happy, because it will give us riches, because it will it bless our life, because it will increase our life, because it will bring us honor, whatever the case is. Pretty much anything we could desire is found somewhere in those verses, and we're told that wisdom brings those things. So why is wisdom greater than anything else? Why is wisdom better than silver and gold and rubies? Why is nothing able to properly be compared to wisdom? Because wisdom is the foundation of everything. To know the wisdom of God is to know the joys and the blessings even of this life. And again, obviously, the next life is much more important. And the spiritual blessings and eternal life and and all that comes along with knowing christ is much more important we know that and wisdom leads to that and wisdom guides us in our journey with christ and along and we praise god for that but even in this life the things that we're after wisdom is how to get them wisdom is how to get them so what should we be spending our time doing today? What should we be spending our time doing this week and this month and this year? And always, we should be spending our time seeking wisdom. We should be spending our time in God's Word, seeking Him, seeking His wisdom and His grace. Because in His wisdom is found all the other things we want anyway. And so we want to grow, we need to grow in the wisdom of God. And our prayers that this week, as we study a little bit about the book of Proverbs, obviously in six days we can only cover a very small portion of Proverbs. But our hope is that it will encourage us, stimulate us in our desire for wisdom, that we'll get to know this book and this Bible more because of it, and that we will know the blessings of God that are found in wisdom. And so we praise God for his wisdom. We want to be seeking that wisdom today and all days because truly wisdom is the greatest thing. As verse 13 says, happy is the man that findeth wisdom.
and the man that getteth understanding. And so praise God for that. We want to be those happy, blessed people who know the wisdom of God by seeking the word of God. And so we'll continue talking about Proverbs tomorrow, Lord willing. Until then, I encourage you to get in the Bible, to grow in wisdom, and to continue on in these days that we're living in. And so have a great rest of your day. May it be filled with the blessings of our Lord and the blessings of His wisdom. Take care and God bless.